Hello and welcome to Ginny's Gin Livestream. I'm Ginny and along with my husband Rob, he's going to make a couple of cocktails after me, um, along with our friends Jeff and Amy Close, our dear friends Jeff and Amy Close, we founded Ginny's Gin um, a few years back. Um, so it's summertime and it's going to be heating up here in Northern California. It's going to be in the 90s later on this week. So we thought we'd do some very refreshing cocktails. Um, the cocktail that I'm going to make today um, came about because I bumped into um, Scott Beatty at Hazel Hill, the restaurant at the Montage in uh, Healdsburg. Um, Scott, if though, for those of you that don't know him, he's one of our locals, you know, to Northern California, and he's a rather um, famed mixologist. He's legendary, actually. And he did, while he was at Cyrus, he made his own cocktail book and it's called artisanal cocktails so i'm going i went i sort of thumbed through this and i looked at the summer cocktails and i found one that's called sunny and dry which is pretty much what's going on here at the moment in sonoma county um he i think he describes it as being uh, the most refreshing thing that you can put to your lips so um, Scott, thank you so much um, for this inspiration, and I'm going to copy your cocktail to the T. Um, and I do want to say that the first time I met Scott was at Meadowood in uh, St. Helena, and he was very supportive of our new gin venture, and in fact he put um, Gin is Gin on the cocktail list at the Grill at Meadowood. So thank you for that, Scott. Um, all right, without further ado, I am going to make this sunny and dry cocktail. So one of the things when we moved meant that we didn't now still have the garden where Rob had planted all these wonderful herbs and botanicals and what have you. So we don't have access to that flowers, yeah. and the flowers and what have you. So we're going to be planting some stuff here at the new place. Um, but I had to go to Urban Tree Farm in Santa Rosa and I bought, um, I, I bought these black eyed daisies and then I bought the lemon verbena as well. Um, so we've got a lot of planting to do. I think we're going to put it in um, half barrels and what have you and uh, so that we can, can get going with that again. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, so Scott really likes to use all the seasonal, whatever's in season, and uh, he sort of split up the cocktail book by season, and um, I've managed to find all the ingredients that I needed. So here we go. So I'm gonna take a mason jar, you can take a mixing glass or, or what have you, and I'm gonna start out by muddling some lemon verbena. So we had this big bush of lemon verbena back at the, at the garden, sure. Two of them, and it's, it's just, I mean, the aromas are wonderful. It's so lemongrass smell. It is, and it was actually quite close to where the lemongrass is. And as you know, or if you don't know, one of the botanicals in the gin itself, the gin is gin, is lemongrass. So it goes really well with it. I'm actually going to be using estrogen in the cocktail. Um, and I have spent this morning. So, you know, it doesn't matter. If you're, if you're launching a new product, there's always gonna be hoops to jump through. There's going to be, you know, all kinds of obstacles in the path, and uh, it certainly isn't easy. And when it's an alcoholic beverage, it makes it even harder, as you can imagine, because it's so very regulated, and there's all of that that goes with that as well. So I went for a run early, early this morning on the beach, and that's a really good way of just sort of clearing your mind and uh, making sure that you're going in the right direction and just keeping things moving forward. Um, we've got one thing that we just need to complete before launching the estrogen website, and I'm super excited about that. And so when, once that's launched, I would like, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank for that, um, and I will do that then. So look for, look for our estrogen website uh, coming next week. So uh, that's pretty exciting. All right, so Scott's recipe for the sunny and dry. I'm gonna take several lemon verbena leaves and I'm going to muddle them. Uh, let's see, that's six. Uh, let's do, oh, I love the lemon verbena. So this is a muddler. Um, if you don't have a muddler at home, you can just use, you know, a, a wooden spoon or something. You'll, you'll figure it out. Blender. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just going to muddle it. Um, so we're going to start with that and just tap firmly is what Scott says. I'm going to do it. There we go. The other 
thing, you know, with the bartenders do also is like mint or you can actually slap it in your hand when you're going to be putting, using it as a garnish or something like that. And that just sort of releases the essential oils, the, the aromas. So just a few taps. I don't want to go too, too hard on it. There we go. All right. Then he says, um, add the gin. So we're going to do, in this case, two ounces of estrogen because we like two ounces. And it is the weekend after all. There we go. Two ounces of estrogen, like that. And then we're gonna do, let's see, um, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. The lemons aren't that great, but we did find these um, zebras, so thank goodness, because you know that's, citrus is winter for us, and uh, so it hasn't been that great recently. You have to really search for the good ones. So cut the ends off, cut it in half, and then put it in a squeezer. And I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce of lemon. And this is pretty juicy. So I think, I, yep, I'm going to be able to get three quarters of an ounce out of one half of a lemon. So it really just depends on how juicy they are. All right, so there's the lemon juice. And then ahead of time, I made some mint simple syrup, which is, mm, smells delicious. In Scott's recipe, he actually used um, mint essential oil with the simple syrup, but I made my own with using fresh mint leaves. So I just took like half a cup of mint leaves, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, boiled it all up, let it simmer for about 10 minutes, and then I just took it off the heat and let it sit. Um, so it's steeped for a while. Um, and then you just keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last about a week or However, depending on how quickly you drink your cocktails and use your simple syrup. So um, that this is the mint simple syrup. And I'm going to do, he calls for half an ounce. So we'll see, I haven't actually made this cocktail before, so we'll see if half an ounce is good. Um, depending on how sweet you like your cocktails, you could reduce or increase with that. So there's my half an ounce. As some of you know, I actually quite like my um, cocktails a little more tart than some people so and I know for those of you who are watching who uh, was at boarding school with me you know I'm a little tart after <laughs> hi Colin <laughs> okay all right so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up and well he wants to add seltzer now but I think I'm going to wait and put the seltzer in the bottom of the glass and then put the rest of the ingredients on top because I don't want to sort of agitate the, the fizzy water, the seltzer soda, whatever you want to call it. Stirring. Okay. And now I'm going to add spearmint. Now the spearmint, he says, 10 of these leaves, you put them together and then you make a chiffonade. And the way that you do that is they're all piled like this. And then you just do little strips of it and that's the I usually roll it in chiffonade it. like that and it depends how big the leaves are whether you want to roll it or not you know with basil sometimes we do that but these are fairly small and I think it looks good like this and I do love the word chiffonade it's kind of cool all right so we're going to put that in there as well and earlier I made some preserved cucumber and I used Armenian cucumber. So the Armenian cucumber is smaller than the English cucumber. And I'm not a fan of the American cucumber, I have to say. And I know there's a joke in there too. Um, so, <laughs> so this is the Armenian cucumber. And what I like to do, so Rob likes to take uh, to peel it um, and take all the skin off. Um, but I like to sort of make it striped. So I actually peel, there's a joke here as well, isn't there? Um, I like to make a, a, just sort of like a stripe down through here. So I do that, and then you're gonna cut it in half, cut it in half, and then with a little spoon, you're gonna scrape out the seeds so that the seeds aren't in the cocktail. And then what you do is you cut it into little quarter inch strips like this. So I did this earlier, about 15 minutes ago, and I put it into the mint syrup. So it's been preserved, it's sitting there, it's you know, taking the, on the, the mint flavor, if you like. So I have 10 pieces of the Yama Armenian cucumber pieces, and I'm gonna put this in there as well. 
like that. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. There's that done. All right, what else do I have to do? Um, oh, yes. Now we're going to do either sunflower petals or these beautiful black eyed, um, they're called black eyed daisies. Can you see that? Yeah, they're pretty cool. And that's really pretty and looks lovely in the cocktail. And Scott, he, um, he says to chiffonade those as well, but they're so pretty. I think I'm just going to leave them as they are. I'm just going to throw them in like this. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four. How many does he say? Uh, ooh, five to 10. So really it's up to you. Um, let's do six, something like that. Okay, cool. All right. So now we are going to put a bunch of ice in there and we're going to shake it up and we're going to put it in a Tom, a tall Tom Collins glass. So I'm going to grab my ice. There it is. enough and I'm gonna give it a good old shake all right and then I'm gonna add the, the seltzer or the soda as I said before like this um, you know if you have a shaker that's fine you can do that um, but I'm just using the, the mason jar so when I shake to make it nice and cold because this is your refreshing cocktail on a summer's day And then we're just going to pour the whole thing into the glass. And I think I might add a little bit more ice into here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so we've got all this loveliness in there. It smells fabulous. The cucumber and the petals and everything. And then we're just going to add... I could have put the soda, I guess, in the bottom, but hey, I didn't, so I'm gonna put it on the top. <laughs> Here we go. Add the club soda. Ta-da, super refreshing. And all that wonderful seasonal ingredients. And then you're just basically gonna sort of stir it around a bit so that all the pretty stuff is sort of incorporated and looking good. And I think I'm actually going to put um, a couple of the black eyed daisies here on top as garnish. There we go. And I would serve it with a straw so that you don't get all that ice all over. So there it is. It's the Sunny and Dry by Scott. And thank you for, the, uh, for that recipe. Um, and Rob, actually, he's got two cocktails for you which are going to transport you to um, a tropical island somewhere or a tropical beach. Um, so <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it and it'll they'll, they'll certainly um, be refreshing as well. So there we go. Thank you, Scott Beatty, for that one. Okay, Rob, take it away. I will get my stuff out of your way. Okay. There we go. Remove all of my botanicals. Hi. Okay, I'm going tiki. So I've got a really nicely chilled coop for the first drink, and I'm going to make two tiki drinks. Last night I made orjat, and uh, orjat is almond syrup. So what I did is I took two cups of raw organic almonds and I toasted them in a pan, a couple, three, four minutes, and then I let them cool down, and then I pulverized them in a blender, and then I added those to a warm pot of a cup and a half of sugar, and a cup and a quarter of water. And then um, I let that steep for about four hours last night and then I strained it through a nut bag. And then what came out is this beautiful almond syrup and then to that I added one a ounce nut of- Nut bag. Yeah, nut bag, yeah. <laughs> I added, boy, you're terrible. I, I added a, a, an ounce of vodka and I added a half a teaspoon of rose water and a half a teaspoon of orange water. And um, that makes our orjat. So for this drink, we have Orjat, everything in little plastic bottles. And then we have our fresh squeezed pineapple juice, which I just took a couple cups of fresh pineapple, chopped it up, put it in a blender, and then put it through a strainer and, and, and got the juice out. Um, super easy. So we've got our Jenny's Gin. 
we've got our really cold mixing tins and we are and I'm I these are two drinks I haven't made so whenever I make orgeat I get really excited I make the Saturn cocktail which is like my favorite tiki cocktail um, but I'm gonna try two that I haven't tried and I did do them both a few minutes ago just to kind of taste and make a couple of adjustments so the first one is the Royal Hawaiian and it's um, it's basically gonna be two ounces of gin so we're gonna go one ounce and one ounce and then we're gonna go, and it calls for a half ounce of orgeat and three quarters of an ounce of, um, it calls for, yeah, I'm sorry, it calls for half ounce orgeat, yeah, three quarters ounce of lemon juice. I tried it, I found it not tart enough and too sweet for me, so I flipped it. So we're gonna go three quarters of an ounce of the orgeat, or half, I'm sorry. So there's our half ounce. And then we're gonna go one ounce of pineapple and a half ounce of lemon and three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. I keep getting my numbers mixed up because I wrote the recipe down and now I'm, I'm switching it up. So here comes our lemon juice and I'm going to go, yep, half a lemon is gonna give us the three quarters that we need. And there's that. And then I tasted this with and without the addition of a couple drops of salt water. So this is 20% saline, which is 20 grams of salt and 100 mLs will bring it up to, start with 80 mLs of water, bring it up to a full 100 mLs, and there's your 20% salt solution. I put two drops per drink. And it, and it actually makes it taste better. So that's it, it's a pretty simple um, thing. Um, I like my uh, one big square ice cube and too small. And I'm gonna drop them right in there. We're gonna give them a little shake. And that's it. Into our chilled coop they go. And you know what's nice is that both the pineapple juice and the orgeat both have some frothing capabilities and so you get this nice foam on top, which I really love. And uh, then we're just gonna, it says no garnish, but you know, I've got a little tiny clothespin and I'm just gonna clip a little piece of, from our fresh pineapple leaf. And um, this is the Royal Hawaiian. There's the drink. And then Jenny just grabbed my second chilled coupe. A little bit of a bigger one. This drink's a little bit larger. So now we're gonna make what they call the Tom Bomb. Um, and I, I think this should be pretty good. So we got two ounces of gin. One and two. If anybody's thirsty, stop by. We have an extra drink tonight. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm looking at the recipe because I haven't made it before. We're gonna do our half ounce of lemon juice. Um, got a knife right there. Half a lemon should give us what we need. And right there, and easily makes our half ounce of lemon juice. And then we're gonna go with a half, so these drinks are kind of similar, half ounce of pineapple juice. The squeeze is better, but you know, you can use the canned stuff if you want to. And then um, there's gonna be a half an ounce of what they call Don's number two. It's Don the Beachcomber. He, he numbered all of his like special seasonings and spices because that way the bartenders wouldn't know how to make them. Um, Don's number two is half um, vanilla bean syrup, which I made with an actual vanilla bean, and then half of what they call, uh, what is it called? Something dram. There's a bottle right there. It's the first time See, I've used it today. All spice, oh, it's all spice dram. So it's an all spice mixture. So we're just going to go a uh, quarter ounce, and then we're going to go a quarter ounce of our acacia honey syrup, which is right here. 
acacia honey syrup. And honey syrup, um, in this particular one, it's um, two parts honey, one part water, just to thin it out so that it's easy to pour. And there you go. That's our that's our entire cocktail. We got the acacia, we got the orgeat. Orgeat is not in yet. We're gonna go orgeat also a quarter ounce. So all of our drinks are in the thing. And now we put in our one big and two small ice cubes. And we put them into the shaker. We do a little shake. Nice hard shake. And um, now we're gonna get the foam again, which I love. And now we're gonna pour this into our slightly bigger coop. I love the froth. It's quite, probably not quite all the way full, but still looks pretty cool. We're gonna take a, another one that says no garnish, but I mean, a piece of fresh pineapple. Why, why wouldn't you do that, you know? There it is. Here's two tiki drinks, both served in coops. Awesome. Um, I'd love to do the Saturn again, but I've already done it, so yeah, I'll try to keep it original every time. <laughs> so those are it. Jenny's drink is gorgeous. My two drinks look kind of like a little bit more in my wheelhouse. Jenny's a little bit of a tart, as she said, and I'm a little bit, <laughs> and I'm a little bit sweet. Uh, so there you go. I do like my sweet cocktails. Um, <laughs> um, something I wanted to say is that um, I spent yeah. the last day or two um, uploading all of these live streams to um, YouTube. So we have a Ginny's Gin YouTube thing. I still have a ways to go because we have more than 50 of these things now. <laughs> Um, but it's kind of fun just listening back to what we're doing and just getting them in order and what have you. So it's kind of fun. Um, so that'll happen. And then we'll have the estrogen website up and running um, early next week as well. And uh, next weekend, of course, is Father's Day. And um, yeah, hopefully Max will do something for you for Father's Day and Don't Jack. Forget. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I got a happy Mother's Day. <laughs> anyway, um, so Father's Day, we will have some great cocktails for you. And uh, I don't know, I think I pretty much know what I'm going to be doing. But um, yeah, so we'll have that for you next weekend. And thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next. Which one are you going to drink? I don't know, but <laughs> one of the things I really wanted to try, and I, I, I mean, those of you who've watched these a few times know I love to milk wash different spirits. And so um, a week ago, I made some milk washed tea infused gin. And this is it right here. And the re one of the reasons we do it is because, like I was mentioning earlier about frothing. Like you can see this when you shake it, all of a sudden you get this crazy amount of foam in there and that's what the cocktails do. And it has mouthfeel that comes from the whey protein. And I think that this drink right here would benefit. I mean, it's good. It tastes great like that. But my th thought was like just about a quarter to a half ounce of tea infused gin might, um, with my proper mixing tool, <laughs> really take that to another space and give it just a little bit more texture and that kind of Great. complexity from the tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a better drink with the tea in there. It's kind of like adding oak to wine and it fills in some of the gaps and gives it that kind of texture. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, another little trick. Yeah. No, that's awesome. All right. So grab your drink. I'll try the other one. Yep. Apparently I have two. <laughs> Cheers guys. Cheers. Cheers Rob. Cheers honey. And we'll see you next weekend. Um, Alice, enjoy the beach. I know you're in Hawaii right now, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, this is very refreshing. Uh, it will work perfectly while you're in Hawaii. And of course, the tiki drinks are perfect too. So, cheers to that. Um, oh, and Jill, thanks thanks for the dress. She had it in her uh, wardrobe and she thought it was very on brand for Ginny's Gin. So, she's like, you can take it. So, oh, I forgot. Thanks, Jill. I have an umbrella. Ah, I gotta have the umbrella. I'm thinking this is the umbrella one right here. Ta -da. Mm. Ooh, mint, lemon, verbena, and cucumber. It's really good. That's actually really good. Mmm, very impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Kind of like kind of like a mojito, only better. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> See you next week.